you tell me about the pay stub you brought today? I have a pay stub from 1996. I hired in in 1987. And uh, in 1996, I made 18.28 an hour. 18.28 an hour. Yeah. Do you have the, Do you have the pay stub on? I sure do. And what are what are folks making at the entry level now? I believe it's 16.75 or 17, somewhere in that area. Could Could you have built the same life? that you've built for yourself no. uh, starting out like that? No, absolutely not. No. What, are, what are the folks asking for here? No, they're just asking for a fair wage and some benefits and some sort of pension so they can you know, work and have some dignity when they retire. Absolutely. Much, just like I did. Oh. How, how can folks that are not in any way involved in the industry help out? They're, well, I would say there's support and understanding that uh, these auto workers aren't overpaid. I mean, yeah. So that's probably the biggest way they can probably help out. And would their support take the form of, like, you know, just positive? comments on social media, talking to the local news stations. Oh, yeah. When the big automakers um, got rid of the cost of living adjustments, was there an understanding in the industry at the time that those would return? Was that the impression people had? Sure, yes. And when did it start to dawn like on the culture that it wasn't coming back without a fight? Oh. You know, I, it, it's, you know it's been like... 16 years since then. 16 years. Yeah, since we gave that back. So I think it just recently dawned on us. Probably the last seven, eight years, I would say. Was it ever acknowledged as, like, chat around the water cooler? Not really. I mean, we gave it back. Um, the company really never brought it back up. And uh, and it just pretty much went away. And now, and now with the two-tier wage system that we have, it's just uh, to the point now where these these new hires just uh, just don't want to work for that kind of pay. They can work anywhere for, for what they're being paid. So it's becoming more of an issue now. My, my family worked at General Motors, so when I hired in, it took me about three, four years to progress up to yeah. full wage. Yeah. When I hired in, which was fine, but I knew that I'd be at full wage. I knew I'd have a pension, good benefits. Yeah. So there was hope for me, you know, but now these young guys, I just... When the young guys talk about it, uh, are they are they grim or are they optimistic? Do they think they're going to win this fight? Yeah, oh yeah. Heck yeah. Absolutely. Yep. If you have advice to any of these uh, young fellas out here uh, fighting to raise the wage, what what would it be as, as an experienced man? Just hang in there and fight this fight, and uh, in the end, in, in the end, you're going to win it. Heck yeah. All right, la last real question. Who, who makes the cars? You guys are the CEO. No, you know the answer to that. There it is. <laughs> who makes the cars? We do. Engines to the frames to the paint, you name it, we do it. Just to clarify, so the CEO doesn't make the cars? No. It's you guys that make the cars. Yeah. You want to show us that? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's look at it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. You all saw the sign. You know where to get it. Right here. Ooh, gonna get a beat too. Look at that shadow in there. Brandon Davis, excellent to meet you. Kaz Hawkins, tell me about your business. Well, we started about a year ago called the Big Black Food Trailer. We did a lot of stuff in Detroit, but we heard they were striking out here in Wayne. They out here all different shifts from 6 a.m. to 12 and from 12 to 6 p.m. and back again from 6 a.m. to 12. 
with no food. So the only thing they get is donations that people drop off. What we're doing is we're doing the best that we can. We're giving them meals every day that we're out here and we're making sure they eat and, and stay energized. They have waters, but if anybody likes to drop off waters, chips, pops, or anything. Well, how about this? If somebody wants to buy these folks a meal. They can come straight to me and I'll buy a meal for okay. them and give them a discount on it. Can you take credit cards over the phone? I take credit cards over the phone. I take orders over the phone. These two numbers right here, they can call in the order and say, hey, here's my credit card. I, I want to do 10 meals. If we're doing 10 meals. You can go online to Big Black Food Trailer. Remember, BigBlackFoodTrailer.com. And hit the order online. Not truck, trailer. And hit, the, yeah. and hit the order online. We got great food out here. And we trying to do what it is for the people out here. I'm actually a UAW worker myself. Retired. So that's why I'm out here showing my support and love. As you can see, on the back of my trailer here, I'm, I'm supporting UAW all the way to the hill. Where I'm on strike, but I'm working. Ah! That's right, that's right, that's right. And on the front of my truck, I'm UAW on the front of my truck. So Heck yeah. come on out, support us. Even if you just want to pick up a case of water, and blow your horn, get a sign, throw your hand out, they appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.